Bereshit, Genesis 44. And he commanded at the steward of his house, saying, Fill at the men's sacks with food, as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack's mouth, and put at my cup the silver cup in the sack's mouth of the youngest, and at his grain money. And he did according to the word that Yosef had spoken. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away, they and their asses. And when they were gone out of at the city, and not yet far off, Yosef said unto his steward, Up, follow after the men. And when you do overtake them, say unto them, Wherefore have ye rewarded evil for good? Is not this it in which my Lord drinks, and whereby indeed he divines? Ye have done evil in so doing. And he overtook them, and he spoke unto them at these same words. And they said unto him, Wherefore says my Lord these words? Far be it that your servants should do according to this thing. Behold, the money which we found in our sacks' mouths, we brought again unto you out of the land of Canaan. How then should we steal out of your Lord's house silver or gold? With whomsoever of your servants it be found, both let him die, and we also will be my Lord's bondmen. Bondmen. And he said, now also let it be according to your words. He with whom it is found shall be my servant, and ye shall be blameless. Then they speedily took down every man at his sack to the ground, and opened every man his sack. And he searched and began at the eldest, and left at the youngest. And the cup was found in Binyamin's sack. Then they rent their clothes and laded every man his ass and returned to the city. And Yahuda and his brethren came to Yosef's house, for he was yet there, and they fell before him on the ground. And Yosef said unto them, What deed is this that ye have done? Know ye not that such a man as I can certainly divine? And Yahuda said, What shall we say unto my Lord? What shall we speak? How shall we clear ourselves? Elohim has found out at the iniquity of your servants. Behold, we are my Lord's servants, both we and he also with whom the cup is found. And he said, Far be it that I should do so, but the man in whose hand the cup is found, he shall be my servant. And as for you, get you up in peace unto your father. Then Yehuda came near unto him and said, O oh my Lord, let your servant, I pray you, speak a word in my Lord's ears, and let not your anger burn against your servant, for you are even as Pharaoh. My Lord, asked at his servants, saying, Have ye a father or a brother? And we said unto my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a child of his old age, a little one. And his brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother, and his father loves him. And you said unto your servants, Bring him down unto me, that I may set my eyes upon him. And we said unto my Lord, the lad cannot leave at his father, for if he should leave at his father, his father would die. And you said unto your servants, Except your youngest brother come down with you, ye shall see my face no more. And it came to pass, when we came up unto your servant, my father, we told him at the words of my Lord. And our father said, Go again, and buy us a little food. And we said, We cannot go down. If our youngest brother be with us, then will we go down. 
for we may not see the man's face, except our youngest brother be with us. And your servant, my father, said unto us, Ye know that my woman bore me two sons, and the one went out from me, and I said, Surely he is torn in pieces, and I saw him not since. And if ye take this also from me, and mischief befall him, ye shall bring down at my gray hairs with sorrow to Sheol. Now therefore, when I can't come to your servant, my father, and the lad be not with us, seeing that his life is bound up in the lad's life, it shall come to pass, when he sees that the lad is not with us, that he will die, and your servants shall bring down at the gray hairs of your servant, our father, with sorrow to Sheol. For your servant became surety for the lad unto my father, saying, If I bring him not unto you, then I shall bear the blame to my father forever. Now therefore, I pray you, let your servant abide instead of the lad, a bondman to my lord, and let the lad go up with his brethren. For how shall I go up to at my father, and the lad be not with me, lest perchance I see the evil that shall come on my father.